And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Texas Rangers and the Toronto Blue Jays. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Bo Bichette, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the play, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about ready to go. And on the hill today, Kevin Gossman. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Yeah, this guy's been real stingy, man. Not allowing guys to play the game, just keeping them at home play. I mean, just ridiculous. I mean, he's dominating hitters. And a guy like this in the mound, one of the elite starters in the game right now. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Evan Carter. That's towards center. Varsho moving under it. Makes the catch for the out. Corey Seager now. The Dodgers made him a first-round pick back in 2012. 18th overall that year for Seager, Boog. And Carlos Correa, Byron Buxton, Marcus Stroman. Just a few other first-rounders from that class. I'd say a pretty solid group. The pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that keeps the inning alive. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Curve. Hit right back to him. Slings the first. That's the third out. And now the right fielder, George Springer. And a pitch. Liner. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You at the ball. That one way inside. Scherzer, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a slur. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Gives up the body and makes the catch. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr., second in the American League in home runs. There's a strike. Springer leads off first with one away. On the ground. Finds his way through base hit. Lead runner around second. To third. Tag. Got him. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. That is a base runner right there. You're the making the ball field. yourself. This ball is clearly in front of you, and you've got to know for sure if you're going to be able to make it safely to third. That time he was wrong as a really nice throw came into third. Turner climbs in on that right side, leading the American League in hitting entering the day. up the middle and it gets through Vladdy coming around third the throw in and he's safe at the plate as they take the lead one nothing two consecutive base hits for these guys here just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down Danny Jansen to hit here leading the American League and homers coming into this one having a monster season Swing and a miss. Going one. Oh, one's the count. Foul ball. So here's Scherzer. And yeah, that's oh, outside. That. Yeah, the count one and two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Throw to first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. So they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back. New inning getting started. Here's Marcus Simeon. 
That one finds the zone. Strike one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might oh, beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Man at first with one gone. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. And there's the strike. Ground ball left side could be two. Quick feed to second for one. And that's two. Bottom of the inning. And now for the Jays. Number 36. Swing and a miss. And he was fooled. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Swings through that. No ball, two strikes. Kicks and deals. Three. Got him swinging for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He sends one out the opposite way. It's 2-0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Swings through that one. All one's the count. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Scherzer gets the punch out. And there are two outs. Two outs, base is empty. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Oh, and one. Two outs, base is empty. That one, one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Scherzer deals. Close one doesn't get the call. And it's two and two. That's when you always want as a pitcher. Down at the knees, and it looked to me like he's barking. That's a, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Sam Hull. Fastball in for a strike, 0-1. Oh, Hub goes six feet five inches in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2016. Down, and there's one down. Next to hit, Davis Wenzel. That one lifted to left, sizes this one up, hauls it in for the out, and there are two down. And first offering is fouled off. The Jays leading by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, George Springer. Short hop liner handled it short. Throw to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Hope is shut up to the dish. Oh for one with a fly out to center. Base hit center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. 
So up next for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Oh, one's the strike one is so critical in an bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Next pitch is outside. That's down and away. It's a good take. Swings through it for the K. Had him way out front of the slur. So now Turner in on that right side. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Swings through that one for strike one. one. Bichette off of first with two away. That one is inside ball one. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. He's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have to pull the string of the changeup. And here it comes. Slice the other way and foul. Well, these Rangers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes a move towards the gap. He's got it. And there's one down. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Fastball for a strike. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. One down, base is empty. That's ball, down and in. Two strikes. Mind, and that's a base hit. So now it's the full hole hitter, Adolis Garcia. That one at the knees for a strike. On the ground left side, six, four, out, three, to the play. and the inning is over. Back here at Rogers Center, here's a big power threat, Danny Jansen. A big swing and a miss. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And that's outside. One and one. Righty to the plate. That one rips. Way back there. It has the distance gone. A gigantic blast. His 42nd home run of the season. And they add on. It's 3-0. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. the left fielder he's over one and first offering is fouled off oh you just got to delete it you give up that lead off home run go back to work focus on this next batter 
Yeah, and a swing and a miss there. Oh, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. And a base hit up the middle. So a man aboard now with one away. Joey Votto next up for the Blue Jays. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. That misses the zone. And now it's even 1 and 1. At the belt and fires. He swings and fouls one off. Righty delivers. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And he deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And the pitch wouldn't chase that time he's been trying to tease the zone with that slider but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone out there to center Jankowski going back on this one brings it in and there's two away Kevin Biggio up to the plate struck out swinging his first time Rocketed out towards right center. Jankowski makes a nice running catch. Toronto picks up one on this homer. It's now 3-0. Back now in Toronto. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's Marcus hey. Simeon. Outside corner, there's a strike. For Marcus Simeon, probably the biggest adjustment and improvement he's made has been on defense. Simeon made 35 errors as a shortstop in 2015 with the Oakland A's. And by the time 2021 came around, he won a gold glove with the Blue Jays. Makes a sliding stop. The throw. And they get the out. We saw a few skills on display there for the out. Technique was great. Reaction time was there, and the slide was smooth. Watching that play come together was really hard. Two outs, base is empty. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. On the ground right side, Guerrero takes it to the bag. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and the batter is George Springer. Max Scherzer back to work. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. I'm really impressed with this offense. They haven't been timid at the plate at all. They've been aggressive, and they're keeping the defense on its toes. Five hits for them on the first pitch alone, so they're swinging and connecting right out of the gates. That one, one misses, and the count one and two. And of course, sometimes you need to be patient as an offense and let the pitcher come to you, but you can't argue with the game plan they're Three. using in this one. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Toughest pitch to hit, fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Line drive, base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Vladdy at the play for the third time as he comes up empty there. There's a swing and a drive. Garcia ranging back on it. And that one is out of here. Touch them all. His 34th of the season. And they add to the lead. It's 5 zip. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. When you 
see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average as well now left hander out of the bullpen Andrew Heaney he's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard just doesn't have the yeah. same intensity to it but He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Pitch misses there, and it's one and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Down base is empty. Just nope, missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. This one high in the air to left center. Sizing this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And yeah, there's two away. Stepping in the long ball threat, Danny Jansen. First oh. pitch doesn't find the zone. the inning the Jays get a pair on this homer and the lead is now five nothing you're watching Blue Jays baseball on the show Canada and we're back all right we go to the top half of inning number six and now the catcher comes up to him Sam Huff puts it away for the out and there's one away Davis Wenzel stepping in for the Rangers Aye. in for a strike and it's 0 and 1 Wenzel measures six feet even Aye. 26 Aye. years old a former first round pick back in 2019 struck him out he says I don't care about draft rounds take a seat nope. Jankowski the next to hit takes outside that to right and that is Springer makes the grab and that's the inning make it sick and welcome back to the ballpark here's the left fielder number 36 the wind of the pitch there's a strike all ones the count line drive and that should be extra bases around first and hustling for second he makes it safely with a leadoff double in the sixth. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine and lifted into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now, bounced up the middle. One away, oh. bottom of the sixth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that, that hitter to roll over. All so right. up next, Joey Votto. That one fouled off. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He gets a chance with a runner in scoring position and one goal. And a foul ball. One out and a runner at second here in the bottom of the sixth. And well, that's, that's outside. Got him swinging. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box hey. on his heels. And then force him to chase your one. pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Gets hey. him to chase after that one. The pitch one started two. in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over. Blue. Back here at Rogers Center. Top of inning number seven. Now the number two hitter, Evan Carter. A little up front there as he swings through. Notice how they're swinging too early or too late. That's a timing problem. They need to guess right on a few of those pitches, and I mean make an educated guess. Well, he's going to rack it up to strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Foul ball still a one and two count. One out, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Touches down, that's a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one in the center. And a pitch. And they'll do it again. And a pitch. That's a ball. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have to play discipline. And that one hammered. And it one hops the wall. Around third. He'll score. It's 5-1. Back-to-back base hits. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. second here with two away Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers and first offering is fouled off Simeon on at second with two down swings through that one for strike two swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout Rangers get one on the RBI double it's now 5-1 it's Major League Baseball on the show Set for the last half of the seventh, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. Back oh. A massive home run. It's 6-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. To see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. So digging in, Bulbous Shed. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. All one's the count. In the air, out towards right center. Garcia hits after it. Pulls it in for the out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Vladdy, now in the box, oh, comes one. up empty with a swing there. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. Oh, and two. The lefty fires. Wouldn't One chase that time. Pitch two misses. Balls, two, two balls, two strikes. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the bottom of the seventh. Big stack center field. One down. 
And it'll bring up Justin Turner. One for three. Well struck right field. Garcia ranging back. And brings it in at the wall. Well, that one ended up a lot closer to home run than I thought off the bat. Clearly didn't get it all. But with that wind blowing out to right, almost pushed that one over the wall. Jansen. The batter now as he swings oh, and misses for Jansen. strike one. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Carter reaching back towards the wall. Hits the fence. Coming home. He scores, and it's now a six-run lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. Now the left fielder. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. 0 oh, and 1. Runner at second, two down here in the second game of the series. And a foul ball. Man at second. That one to first. He'll do it himself. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning. We're at the top of the eight. Now here's the Rangers. DH Ezekiel Duran. Right through there for a strike. Oh, Gosman. Into his eighth inning of work. Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, nope, you get to him early. The they didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Fought off foul. Pitch count in great shape. It seems he might have a chance to finish it. Oh, Up and yeah. in. Three and two now. In the air. Pretty deep out to center field. Varsho moving under it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. Now the catcher up to hit. Sam Huff. Fastball hey. for a strike. Going along. Hey. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. No Base is empty one right. away, and we're in the top of the Three. eighth. Got him looking for the K. And the batter down, Davis Wenzel. There's a strike up high. It's 0 1. Ball That's one the there. Swung on, belted. Bar show on the move. That's down. One hops off the wall. And that's a two-out double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Hey. Oh, and one. Puts it in the air out towards left center on the move. And that'll do it. Bottom of the eighth. And now for the Jays, Dalton Varsho. On the ground to the left, Seeger zips it Got to him. first, and a quick out number one. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Swing and a miss, and he got him to oh, chase. Oh, and he really sells the changeup with that arm action. One down, base is empty. This one in the air, center field. Jankowski makes the grab, two down. And here is Kevin Biggio. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Yeah. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Oh, and one. Late hey. with the swing there. This guy's pounding oh, the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Two down, nobody on. Rex and misses. It's a strikeout. One, two, three. Back now in Toronto. Stepping in, Evan Carter. 
That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Guerrero. He takes it on his own, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Seager stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Up the middle, Bichette. And now one out remaining for Texas. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. His 19th home run of the year, and they cut into the deficit. It's 7-2. They wasted no time in that at bat, swinging at the first pitch, and he punished it. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark two outs nobody on Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers that's in for a strike I mean his pitch efficiency ability to get ahead and count at times pitch to contact let the defense work behind him that's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being disciplined. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Blue Jays, even this series, up in a game of peace. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.